Benjin appears in a vision experienced by Bran Stark. Benjin is shown training with Ned under a young Roderick Castle in the courtyard of Winterfell, though his skills are far inferior to Ned's. Lyanna appears and playfully teases Benjin about not having a sparring partner after Ned goes to the Eyrie, and suggests that Willis take up swordplay. Benjin almost has a match with him, but he is led away by Old Man. Benjin is seen later in another of Bran's visions saying goodbye to Ned shortly before the latter heads off to the Vale. Beyond the Wall, when Bran and Mira Reed are being chased by an army of whites, a hooded figure with a concealed face arrives atop a horse, wielding a flaming chain, to burn the whites and rescue the pair. When the whites become too numerous to fight off, he pulls Bran and Mira onto his horse and rides away. The next day, the hooded man feeds Bran the blood of a dead rabbit, and says he arrived to help because the three-eyed raven requested it. When questioned on his identity, he pulls down his scarf and hood, revealing himself as Benjen Stark. Benjen explains that, during his fateful ranging beyond the wall, he was attacked by white walkers, one of whom shoved an ice sword into his gut and left him for dead. He was discovered by the children of the forest, who stopped him from falling to the control of the White Walkers by shoving a piece of dragon glass into his chest. Benjen eventually escorts Bran and Mira to the Weirwa tree nearby the wall. When asked by Mira why he cannot travel any further south, Benjen explains that ancient spells carved into the foundation of the wall prevent the dead from passing through it. Benjen says he will continue to fight for the living as long as he can, before departing.